All right, now on the last two videos, we talked about South Africa's food, nightlife, languages, the different ethnic groups, and also the music of South Africa. On this video, we're gonna talk about the logistics, how to get around, where to go, visas and vaccinations, and so on and so forth. Let's get it. Now there's three cities that most tourists use as their base when traveling to South Africa. You have Cape Town on the Southwest coast, a beautiful coastal city that has mountains as its backdrop and is good for adventure, food, and partying. Next you have Johannesburg, which is located in the middle of the country and it's one of the continent's cultural hubs and reminds me a lot of Atlanta. And it's about a 40 minute drive from the capital of South Africa, Pretoria, and it's also very near Kruger National Park. And then you have Durban on the East Coast. Right on the Indian Ocean, it has year round good weather and it's home of the Zulus and has a lot of people from different cultures such as India and other parts of Asia. Now getting around South Africa within each city, you can use the Ubers, Lyfts, and regular taxis. You can also use these minibus taxis. Now these things only cost a few dollars and if you're in South Africa for a very long time, they will save you money in the long term. You just hop on and each one has its own route and then you can hop off whenever you're at your destination. Now going from city to city, you can take buses, but they also have flights within South Africa uh, with Kalula Airlines and South African Airlines as well. And these are normally cheap if you want to get a round trip from one city to another, it's somewhere between $100 and $200. Now when to go to South Africa really depends on what activities you're going to South Africa for. Now South Africa is a very large country, and so the weather really depends on which region you're at. But just as a general rule, because South Africa is located in the Southern Hemisphere, it's summertime normally ranges between the months of November and February. Now, as far as visas go, there are no visa requirements for most of us of the diaspora in order to get into South Africa. However, if you are from one of these countries that are in the gray, you do need a visa in, in order to get into South Africa. Now, as far as vaccinations goes, there are no vaccination requirements in order to get into South Africa for most countries, unless you are from a country that is at risk of yellow fever. All right, thank you for watching this video. And as usual, please follow me on all the different social media platforms at Travel and Truth for more videos on Africa and the diaspora. Now, in the next video, we are going to take a trip to Soweto.